As a research team, we want not only to convey the messages from our two-year research project into what can help or hinder social workers from beginning, developing and sustaining relationships over time with children and families involved in child protection processes, but we also want to develop methods of dissemination that can have impact and influence positive changes in social work child protection practices based upon our research findings. This short video will briefly highlight some of the reasons why we feel the production of 360 degree immersive videos based upon our research experiences and analysis may be an innovative and impactful method of research dissemination. Our two year research project used an ethnographic methodology and included 15 months of fieldwork at two social work child protection offices approximately 200 miles apart in England. An ethnographic approach allowed us to immerse ourselves for long periods of time into different child protection settings, enabling us to generate rich and multi-leveled detailed accounts of our observations of social work practices taking place between families and professionals in a variety of settings such as family homes, cars, hospitals, offices and other locations. We observed and analysed a range of intimate behaviours such as distance between actors, facial expressions, gestures, touching, laughter, crying, language, tone, body posture, atmosphere and other cues that all influenced the emotions generated in these encounters and then analysed these to explore the impact they had on the types of relationships that occurred over time between social workers, different agency staff, children and their families. The challenge we faced as researchers was how could we convey the multi-level richness of the lessons of our ethnographic observations and at the same time encourage change in social work approaches based on what we found were the key ingredients of good social work child protection practices over time. Our research suggests that 360 degree immersive videos provides one potentially powerful method for research dissemination and has the potential to encourage change in social work practices. We want to explore what impact this approach can have when we create a virtual world where we can place the viewer next to the ethnographer allowing them to experience the multi-level, natural, immediate and sensory experiences of a child protection encounter. A 360 degree immersive video shows a photorealistic scene that updates based on head and body orientation. The viewer is placed directly into virtual scenarios allowing them to see 360 degree views from where the video was originally recorded. For example, a social worker talking to a child in their bedroom. The video is produced using multiple cameras and stitched together through software to form a total surround 360 degree experience. Slater and Sanchez Vives refer to an immersive event as the extent to which a system can shut out the physical world. To shut out the physical world, we have created mobile phone apps for use with devices such as the cheap and easily available Google Cardboard Viewer. By blocking out the physical world, Bailey et al. suggests that we can create immersive, vivid and personal experiences that can transport the viewer into the world of the ethnographer, social worker and family members engaged in child protection encounters. This sensation of being transported into this world, recreated based on authentic events that occurred during our observations, is referred to as presence. In the case of our study, we are looking to achieve what Bailey and Balenson refer to as spatial presence, the degree to which the virtual environment and stimuli presented to the viewer feels real and causes them to react in ways that are similar to everyday experiences. Research by Passmore et al. 
has shown that using viewers that shut out the physical world provides a greater sensation for viewers of being there in the virtual world as compared to other approaches such as virtual representations conveyed on laptop or desktop computer screens. To try and encourage change based on our research findings, we adopted the following methodology. 15 months of rich ethnographic data was collected. The data was analysed and amongst the outputs of the analysis, a set of 360 degree scenarios were created. Actors were used to recreate typical scenes in settings such as the car, home, office, drawn from our data analysis to convey what our long-term research suggests can either help or hinder good child protection processes. The 360 degree videos will not be held behind a university firewall but will be disseminated freely using, for example, the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Active discussion about the issues presented will be encouraged by using social media tools such as Twitter to enable the researchers to engage with members of the social work community and beyond to explore positive changes in child protection practices. Existing research suggests that 360 degree video dissemination has the potential to change social work practice because it allows viewers to engage in experiences that might be otherwise impossible to recreate in real life. Research into the uses and effects of this medium with adults has demonstrated that transporting viewers into events that occurred at a different time and place has the power to alter attitudes, behaviours and physiology. Given these insights, in exploring whether disseminating ethnographic research through immersive 360 degree videos has the potential to improve the lives of children and families engaged in the child protection system, some of the questions we are interested in investigating are When using 360 degree videos, what are the challenges in recreating a social work child protection encounter at an ethnographically multi-sensory level? What impact can a sense of immersion and presence have in changing social work practice for a viewer experiencing a viscerally demanding and anxiety provoking child protection encounter? How does using this medium to disseminate ethnographic research impact on child protection practices in social work at the individual, organisational and policy levels? These are just some of the many questions we will seek to answer in the near future in exploring whether disseminating ethnographic research through immersive 360 degree videos has the potential to be not only a beautiful but an effective partnership.